everyone welcome to APS Deep Academy and this is your mentor Swati Joshi in this class we will study about bridge rectifier so bridge rectifier is a full wave rectifier and in this four diodes are connected in a particular manner which is creating a wheat stone bridge here in this figure we can see that four diode connected in a manner and this function is considered as wheat stone bridge now we will discuss the working of full wave rectifier bridge type we know that at AC we are giving the sinusoidal signal as an input here. So in positive half this what is happening in positive half the upper side of this uh, upper side of this circuitry is positive and the lower side is negative. So current is flowing towards this direction and at this junction current will divide into two parts here and here and here. Now what will happen if current is dividing into two parts then D1 will become forward bias because it is connected in that manner that positive connected to positive. So diode D1 will become forward bias and it will conduct current towards the circuit. Now this the diode D2 will become reverse bias because it is connected in this manner. So negative connected to positive of the input. So it will behave as an open circuit. So we will just remove it because no current will flow from this direction. Now again here node is there so current will divide in load register RL and towards the D4 path. But again D4 is connected in a manner that it is creating a reverse bias for the diode. So this diode will not work and we simply remove it. Now again current is flowing towards the register load register RL current will not flow to D1 or D2 but current will flow towards the D3. Why so because D3 is making uh, D3 is uh, here the input positive half of input is making diode D3 working in forward bias. So for first half or first positive half the current is flowing toward D1 load resistor RL and D2 and whatever the current is we are getting at the output which is nothing but RL. So across RL we are getting our DC output which is nothing but the voltage at the secondary or VS max. Clear? Now in second half what is happening? In second half, the polarity will be uh, polarity will be different. So in second half, this will become negative and this side will become positive. So this is negative, this is positive. Now what happen if current will divide in two parts? Then what is happening? It will make this diode D2 work in forward bias, but will make D1 work in reverse bias. So we just remove it. Now what is happening? Current will flow towards the load register RL. And current will go to D3 also, but D3 is connected in a manner that it will become reverse bias. So it will not conduct the current in negative half. Now D4 will conduct and current is flowing towards the D2 load register RL and D4. Similarly, at output we are getting load register RL, the output of negative half, which is nothing but Vs max here. So this is the full working of what a full wave bridge rectifier is doing. Now in earlier classes we already completed our studies on half wave rectification, full wave center tape and in this class we completed full wave uh, bridge rectifier. We know that they are few, uh, they have few differences. So we will discuss few differences here. Now these are the differences between half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier and full wave bridge type rectifier. If we consider the circuit here, we can see that this is the circuit for half wave rectifier and in this only one diode connected. And this is the circuitry for center tape full wave rectifier and this we are considering two diodes are connected. And in full wave bridge rectifier, a weight stone bridge is there and four diodes are connected. So this is the first difference between these three. Now the third difference is ordinary transformer is used in case of half wave rectifier. And in case of full wave rectifier, center tape transformer is used. Now, what is the meaning of center? In center tape, we are dividing the secondary coil in two parts. One is loop, uh, one is working, uh, one is work, one side is working for D1 and another side is working for D2. So this secondary coil is divided in two parts with this center tape wire. So in center tape, in uh, center tape full wave rectifier, the transformer used is a center tape because dividing it in two parts, one in three, one it is one is creating uh, you know current loop for diode D1 and another is creating current loop for diode D2. Now in full wave bridge rectifier transformer is not required but we can use uh, so that our you know 
voltage will be down but the main advantage of using full wave rectifier is it can be used in very high voltages also because transformer is not required it means it can handle so many uh, uh, high level peaks also now in fourth it convert half cycle of applied ac signal into dc signal whereas in full wave rectification it convert whole cycle to pulsating dc and similarly in full wave rectification also whole cycle we will receive now input and output waveform let us discuss so here input and output waveform for half wave rectifier input is uh, sinusoidal ac signal and uh, similarly output is only uh, output we are receiving at half wave and another zero and another half wave another zero so this is the output for half wave rectifier now we see that in full wave rectifier the output is like that output is like that first in positive half diode d1 is working second half diode d2 is working so both the waveforms we are receiving similarly in so in bridge rectifier also we are uh, receiving both uh, positive and negative half we are receiving the output and in this in first diode d1 and d3 is working in second diode d2 and d4 is working if we consider the value of i rms or rms current it is i0 by 2 and rms current in full wave center tape i not by root 2 and in bridge rectifier also rms current or root mean square current is i not by root 2 you can go to the classes of half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier center tape you know very clearly i derived the derivation for root mean square ripple factor uh, form factor and every whatever the peak inverse voltage peak inverse current each and every formula is derived in those classes you can go back and check those in this class we are not doing the formula because half wave uh, because full wave rectifier uh, either it is center tape or it is bridge rectifier all the formula or function or the values are equivalent only one thing is different here in full wave rectifier center tape the vs the uh, you know piv the piv for center tape is 2 vs max 2 vs max why so because in Uh, because we are dividing the secondary coil in two parts so if i am dividing the secondary coil in two parts it means it has some polarity plus minus here and another one also have some polarity plus minus here so either diode d2 is not working diode d2 is in half uh, is in uh, open circuit but diode d1 is working because at output this voltage and this voltage we are we the both voltage we are receiving at the output are if it is open circuit what is happening voltage is directly transferred to rs if this voltage is directly transferred to rs it means this vs and this vs so 2 vs max we are getting as an piv at center tape but in bridge rectifier the piv is simply vs max okay from circuitry also we can see that so in this only vs max why so because this is the load register rl so we uh, and in this this one and this one two this one upper side this one lower side so they both are generating some voltages because voltage is nothing but the potential difference between uh, two points a and b suppose a b so here a b c are there so potential difference between a b is also vs max potential difference between b and c is also vs max so peak inverse voltage in case of center tape is 2 vs max where, uh, uh, whereas in case of bridge rectifier it is only vs max all other formulas ripple factor kf everything is same in both full wave and uh, full wave center tape and full wave bridge rectifier so go to the uh, playlist and do this formula from earlier classes now here already we consider the rms value of current so now the dc output current so the dc output current is i not by pi dc output current is i0 by pi in case of half wave rectifier and 2 i0 by pi in case of center tape and 2 i0 by pi in case of bridge rectifier so uh, the formula of idc also we have done in earlier classes you can check from those now peak inverse voltage i already discussed now last thing we have to discuss one is left is efficiency so efficiency we already discussed 40.8 or something 40.8 or 40 we can consider in case of or 41 in case of half wave rectifier and 81 in case of center tape and similarly 81 in case of bridge rectifier and the second thing is ripple factor 
सो रिपल फैक्टर फॉर रिपल फैक्टर फॉर हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर इज नथिंग बट वन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इन केस ऑफ सेंटर टेप रिपल फैक्टर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट एंड सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर रिपल फैक्टर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट ओके सो ऑल द फॉर्मूलाज विच आर कमिंग इन सेंटर टेप एंड ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर आर सेम ओनली द डिफरेंस इज टीक इन वर्स वोल्टेज so hope you understand the differences between all three the applications of uh, rectification we already know conversion of ac to dc and similarly we use the uh, bridge rectifier where we have to use the high peak voltage so no transformer is required in bridge rectifier so uh, directly we are you know connecting connecting a bridge rectifier to our ac supplies also so this is the advantage either Uh, all the values uh, what are coming in the bridge rectifier or center tape are same you can go to the playlist and check those classes now for now thanks for this class we will meet you in next class